Welcome to the Qcom channel and I'm going to show you guys how to backdate your Minecraft to 1.7.3 and how to install Buildcraft. First, to install Buildcraft you're going to have to downgrade. So, what you're going to do is download my bin.zip file which will be in the description and you'll get a folder. Now what you're going to do is go to your MacBook library application support minecraft and into your bin now first you're going to want to open your bin and I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna make this a little smaller you're going to copy these four into here where's my fourth one oh yeah it's this so you're going to copy these four into here and then you're going to get caught, put in the version and MD5S and open up natives. And these are all going to be different. So when you open up natives, you're not going to have the DLLs. I already do because I already downgraded. So you're just going to have these. So you just drag and drop them into the natives. Click back. Back. And you're done. You can close this and you will be back rated. Just hit uh, no. Do not update. Not now. Do not upgrade. So. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download all the different buildcraft.zips, modloader MP, and modloader 1. Well, modloader, sorry. First, we're going to have to install the modloader. We can do that by clicking it, highlighting it all, it all, <laughs> all of it, copying it, copy. Going back to your bin folder. Now, new folder window. Bin, and this will be in this format. All you have to do is open it with our drive utility. It will become a folder. Delete the jar file. Get info. Put a dot jar out to the Minecraft, and you will get this folder. To get that folder, go ahead and open it, and with that the mod loader you just got, paste items, you will replace them, and that is that for mod loader one. Then mod loader MP, you're gonna want to copy all this, copy eight items, and go back into Finder, and paste it as well. Now that's good gonna close this and close this now we're at the build craft now what we're gonna do is we're going to unzip all of them into little folders and once that is done we're gonna go back to our minecraft folder and you'll see a mod. What you're gonna do if you don't have this, you're going to. I'm just gonna name my mods one, but you guys will just call it mods. I'll call mods one because I already have it. So what you're gonna do is open up the mods one. Just drag and drop these in here, all four of them, and that is it. I'm gonna delete this because I don't need it, but you guys do. And click out. Now we're going to start up. We got to close that before you go into Minecraft. Always be sure about that. Close. Close. And thank God I just remembered this. This would cause a lot of problems. Search up meta inf in Minecraft.jar. You'll get a folder. You can even just search meta. You'll get a folder called meta inf. You can delete it. I already deleted mine. But if you don't delete it, you will get a black screen. So once that is done, just head over to Minecraft and uh, wait for it to load up. Log in. Now you will get new update available. Would you like to update? Not now. And you wait a little bit and you'll be in 1.7.3 
uh, yeah, all the links be in the description. This, this, uh, <laughs> this texture pack will also be in the description. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a message, comment, and I will be sure to help you. Don't be afraid. You will never learn unless you ask, so keep that in mind. See you guys later. I'm the 2Kong channel, signing out.